Hello everybody, back to work through the Bible again, word by word. And today, we're going to pick up where it's on earth as it is in heaven. And right before that, uh, it says, thy will be done. And then it says, on earth as it is in heaven. So, <clears throat> basically, I touched on this earlier. I used to think that meant at the end of times, it's now his will is going to be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Instead, I now believe that he is teaching us that we can bring the kingdom of heaven right here, right now, and experience it. Especially if we're letting the Lord's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What is God's will? Well, you'll find it many times in the New Testament particularly where the commandments are referred to, obviously in the Old Testament as well, but referred to when he's asked what's the greatest of commandments, he says, well, obviously it's the first one. Love your Lord God with all your heart, soul, and mind. And he says also the second is just as important, which goes on to say love your neighbor as you love yourself, or basically love your neighbor like you love God with all your heart, soul, and mind. Picture that for a minute, and Jesus tried to show us that when he was here. What if everybody on earth was doing the will of God? That means that we would all be loving like Jesus did. I can't even imagine. This world would be so different. There would We wouldn't be in this world anymore. We'd be of heaven then. <laughs> We'd have the kingdom of heaven right here on earth if everybody loved like that. That is it right there in a nutshell. I'm going to finish up the next one quicker. <clears throat> give us our daily bread, or give us this day our daily bread is what it actually says. And I think there's a couple things we need to note there. Give us, not me, give us this day, and I think again, part of God's will and what Jesus is trying to teach us is not just live in the day, live in the moment. Don't worry about tonight. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about next year. It's going to take care of itself. Trust in the Lord. Look for his direction. Live in the moment and let him direct you. Give us, not being selfish, we want to include everybody, this day. Then our daily bread, which I think can be taken a couple different ways. But basically, again, it's telling us not to worry. Our daily bread is a food. Don't worry about where you're going to get your food, as he says. You know, that's not something for us to worry about. It'll, it'll take care of itself. It's going to be taken care of. Don't give us our daily bread. And again, notice the word are. Oh, you are, not just mine. Uh, our daily dose of whatever life brings us is another way to look at that. So again, these are all just my takes on it, uh, and I'm studying through and learning every day as I go. Feel free to chime in and add your own. Hope to talk to somebody soon.